the most important piece of advice that I can give a prospective math major? That's tough. And that is the question that I received from a viewer here on the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna answer that. I'm gonna tell you what I believe is the most important thing or what are the most important things that you should do in order to succeed as a math major. And they're not what you think. They're not what you think. It's not the typical advice, to be honest. I, there's a lot of stuff that you need to consider, I think. So this came from a viewer. Her name is Marissa. The subject is most important advice. And the message is really good. It says, dear beautiful soul. I was like, I got to reply to this email. <laughs> so what is your best and most important advice for someone who is about to start studying mathematics at university? Thanks and blessings, Marissa from Bonn, Germany. So first let me say thank you, Marissa, for your message. The most important thing well, let's start with the first thing, is make sure that you want to study mathematics. Ask yourself why you're doing it. Realize that it's going to be extremely challenging and be realistic about your job prospects when you are done. So think about what you wanna do for work when you're done with your math degree. How can you use your math degree to you know, secure employment somewhere in the world? That's really important, right? That's important. That's key, right? That's, that's huge. And this will pick you up. This will give you that confidence boost that you will need when you are facing adversity in your math classes. Because math is hard. It, it gets really, really hard. And I think that a, a lot of people, they, they like algebra, they like calculus. They say, hey, I want to be a math major because I like integrals. That's fine. Do that but realize it does get harder. So make sure that you really want it, okay? I've had a lot of students that were math majors and some of them finished, some of them got graduate degrees and some of them changed their minds. You know, they, they took a couple more math classes after mine. And they're like, ah, oh, it's getting harder. And they decided to do something else. It's not because they were dumb. It's not because they were weak and couldn't handle it. They're great students. It's just that, they probably didn't like it enough or they didn't really have that end goal nailed down. You have to have goals and you have to stick to them and you have to really fight for those goals. You have to really want it, okay? You have to want the math degree. It's very tough. I don't mean to digress, but when I was an undergrad, I remember talking to the undergraduate advisor and he told me, he said something like this. Oh, last year we only had 11 math majors. This was a school with like over 30,000 students easy and only 11 math majors graduated. So it shows what, what a small minority we are. You know, as, as math people, we're just like, I'm surprised I have any subscribers, right? Who does math? I mean, there's people who go to school and do math and there's math teachers, but like, it's a very, very small, uh, you, know, pop, you know, percentage of the population. You know, if you go to Walmart, most people in Walmart aren't going to know calculus. Anyways. I don't mean to digress too much. The point is you have to have a strong goal. So that's step one, have a strong goal. The second thing you should do is when you, when you start taking your classes, okay, uh, you, you want to make sure that you do well, right? So go to class, okay? Never skip class. Even if you have to study for another class, don't skip it. I've done that. Oh, I'm going to skip my math class so I can study for physics. No. Oh, I'm going to skip X, Y, Z so I can do this and stay home. No. Go to class, even if the teacher is terrible. Go to class, write everything down, right? Write everything down. As soon as you get out of class, as soon as you have time, go over your notes, rewrite your notes. The notes are important. And if you have a good teacher, the notes are even more important because a good teacher, in my opinion, realizes that that hour that they have to teach the class is precious. So everything they write on the board matters. I know when I teach, if I teach a calculus class or whatever, Every word I say has meaning. Everything I do is for a purpose. Everything I write on the board is intentional. It has an ulterior motive, which is, you know, hey, you need to know this for your test. You need to know this for your homework. This is something you should know for the class. It's an important concept. There is a reason I am saying it. And teachers, good teachers know that because they're not there to waste your time. They're there to try to convey 
as much mathematics as they possibly can in a very limited amount of time. So worship those notes, hang on to those notes. Ask questions. This is one that I failed to do. Um, I sat in the back, you know, I, I was so shy when I was an undergrad. And I wanna say I have regrets, but I know I refuse to have regrets. I don't believe in regrets. I, I don't think it's healthy. I don't think anything comes from it. I, it's not good, right? You have to focus on the present and on the future. And so be social, right? Raise your hand, ask questions. Be that person who asks questions five, six times. It's okay, right? It's okay. Who cares if other people say, oh, that person's annoying. Let them talk. I remember, uh, I've often had this where, you know, I'll have students in my office and someone will come in and they'll say, oh yeah, so-and-so, they're always asking questions. It's kind of annoying. And I'm like, I don't think it's annoying. I, I kind of like the questions. And a lot of times when you ask a question, there's five other shy people in the class, like me, who didn't want to raise their hands. So when you ask questions, you're helping a lot of your classmates as well. So ask questions. When you ask questions, when you speak in front of an audience in a classroom, that conversation is gonna stay in your mind. You're gonna remember those conversations and it's gonna help you learn math, okay? It really, really is. So be social with your mathematics. Ask questions. Go to office hours if you need to, right? Don't go there to waste the professor's time. Some professors don't like people in their office. Personally, me, I don't care. I, I love having people in my office, why not? I mean, I have to be in my office anyways. It'd be better if someone was there with me <laughs> so we can talk about mathematics, right? So not everyone feels the same way. Some professors are different. Uh, that's just the way I am. I, I like having people in my office. Not everyone is the same, but office hours are there for you to use them. So go ask questions. When it comes time for the test, make sure that you can do everything cold. What that means is you wanna be able to do every single homework problem, everything that was presented in the notes, and everything that's presented in the review if you have one for the test, review for a test. If you have one, go over that. And make sure you can do all of that cold without, without looking at your notes, okay? At all, that's very important, extremely important. And that takes extra effort because in order to get to that level, you first have to complete all of the homework and go over all of your notes and go over the review. And then you gotta go back and do it again without looking at your notes. And that, that is the challenge and that takes a lot of time. So those are the general things I would say you should, you should do as a math major. Have a clear goal, okay, have a clear goal. Know why you're there. Have a goal for when you're done. Are you going to grad school? Or are you not going to grad school? If you don't go to grad school, where are you gonna work? What kind of job do you wanna do, right? So, have a solid goal that is super important because you're gonna face adversity, you're gonna get stuck in those hard classes and you wanna be able to conquer those classes. You wanna be able to pick yourself up and study when you don't want to. Two, ask questions, go to office hours, ask questions in class, don't be afraid to speak, okay? It helps, those interactions are ones that will stay with you forever. And three, before every test, right? Make sure you can do everything cold. And this is the hardest one, right? Because many times you just, you just won't have the time to do that, okay? You won't. You can make the time, but there's gonna be sacrifices, right? You'll have to make sacrifices. That's probably something else I should have said in this video. Sacrifices. You're gonna have to make sacrifices, personal ones too sometimes. I know I made some big sacrifices when I was a math major uh, and a grad student, right? So things, things require sacrifice, right? If you wanna, if you want to get somewhere good in life, if you want to get a degree or get a job, if you have a goal, a big goal, and it's a hard goal, oftentimes it's not easy. And it's not easy because it takes a lot of work and it requires sacrifice. And I think getting a math degree is one of those things. It's a very respectable degree, by the way. If, if, if I see someone, I see, if I'm looking at a resume and I see a person who has a math degree, I, I, guess I, I just got goosebumps. I'm like, wow, they have a math degree because it's hard, right? It's, it's really, really hard. And I think it's great that you're doing it, Marissa. Marissa from Bonn, Germany. So yeah, if anyone has advice for Marissa, leave a comment in the comment section below. Math is beautiful. A math major is great. You get small classes, Marissa. Many times you get these small classes. It's just, uh, it's, it's a unique place to be. The math world is not very big, by the way. It's not, it's not. You'd be surprised, you know, it's like, there's only so many math professors at each school. So kind of like everyone knows everyone in some sense. So yeah, but uh, I hope it's been helpful. Oh, and if you wanna learn math, before I forget, I have courses. They're on Udemy. 
Uh, but please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, if you decide to get them, uh, because uh, otherwise Udemy takes a huge cut. And I've lowered the price to the bare minimum that Udemy would let me. So when you click the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, you should get a low price. Or freemathvids.com, one of the two. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe if you want to. It doesn't matter. Um, key takeaway from this video, math is hard. Getting a math major is a big decision. Should you do it? It depends. Are you loving math? And what is your end goal? Do you want to go to grad school? Are you happy with the job that you can get? And, and there's many jobs you can get, by the way, teaching, finance, there's all kinds of jobs. So yeah, I should make another video on, on the jobs. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.